How's it going everybody? As you can see, Flame King came out with two brand new heaters this year. They've got the 20,000 BTU unit and the 10,000 BTU unit. I can only imagine is direct competition for the Mr. Heater Buddy line. This is comparable to the Big Buddy Heater. This is comparable to the Portable Buddy Heater. Today, I'm gonna walk through my initial review of both of these heaters and how they match up to the comparable Buddy Heater. I'm gonna talk about the features, the specs, the differences in the prices of each of the different heaters. So you can make the best choice for what you need. I will link everything down below in the description. So if you're looking to pick anything up, it's simple click of a button and you can get to exactly what you're looking for. The first heater that we're gonna to compare today is the 20,000 BTU Flame King heater in comparison to the Big Buddy heater. The first thing that we're gonna notice is the Flame King heater is a little bit larger in footprint size than the Big Buddy heater. As we look at the side profile of both of the heaters, you can see that the grate on the Flame King sticks out a little bit more, but the actual body width of the Big Buddy heater is a little bit thicker. We also have the dials on this side for both of the heaters. The Flame King does have the dial sticking out the side initial reaction just by kind of looking at the photos that I saw was I'd be worried about this breaking off and hitting things. It still may, so time will have to tell on if this thing's gonna be brittle and break off in the cold if you're using it like in ice fishing conditions. Um, however, it is fairly flush with the body of the unit. It kind of angles in before it sticks out. So that is a good thing about the way that this knob is designed, whereas the buddy heater is on the top. Here are the backs of the two units. Uh, one note on my Big Buddy, if you haven't noticed already, is this is a little bit older one and it's been used and abused. I am hard on my stuff, so the fact that this is held up this much from melting and being banged around in my ice fishing sled is a good testament to how quality these are. Uh, this Big Buddy heater is one of the older ones that does have the fan built in, which we're gonna talk about a little bit in a little while here, but you're gonna notice on the backhand side, it does have the jack on the Big Buddy heater for the six volt power in to power that fan if you wanna use auxiliary power. The Flame King heater also has a fan built into it and it has auxiliary power down on the bottom here. That's six volt as well to run the fan if we wanted to do that. Otherwise you can use D batteries on the other side. Um, we have our propane tank um, opening here. So this flaps down, you can take it off and you can put your two one pounders right on the back. Um, the back of this, you've got your battery door here for the Big Buddy. That's where your batteries go to run the fan there. The one nice thing about the Big Buddy heater that the Flame King 20,000 BTU unit does not have is the ability to have these, I forget what they call them, but they're the little eye holes for you to be able to hang it on the wall. So throw a couple screws on the wall and you can actually hang it up. This one does not have those holes. And then as we look at the last side of the units here, we can see a sleek design on the Flame King. The buddy heater, again, you've just got your other door here where you can put your propane cylinder in. Um, that's it there. This one, this is the side that opens up and you're able to put your batteries in for the fan that's built into it if you want to. All right, as I just alluded to, the 20,000 BTU Flame King unit does have a fan built into it that can be powered off of four D batteries or an auxiliary jack in the back, you can buy a cable for six volt power in, similar to the Big Buddy heater of years past. This is one of the older units. It does have the fan built into it. The fan blows out of the gray part here, um, and you can put an auxiliary six volt into this or 4D batteries as well. I will say that the battery door on the Flame King unit is much easier to get off than the one on the back of the Big Buddy and it's a lot more accessible to get to these batteries as they're individual there, whereas on the back of the Big Buddy, they stack and they slide in horizontally, which is a little bit harder to get to. This is a plastic door, just like the Big Buddy heater. All of the gray part and all of the black part is plastic. The only parts that are metal on both of the heaters is this green part, the black part, and the grate. And then the same here, the red part, the black part, and the grate as well. In terms of comparing the fans on these two units, they're both very quiet. They both move just a small amount of air. I think the Big Buddy heater actually is a little bit more powerful. Both of the heaters have a safety tilt shut off, so if they tip over while in use, they will shut off, so that's a nice thing for this heater. Uh, they both have a low oxygen detection system, so if they detect there's a low level of oxygen in the air, they will shut off as well from a safety standpoint. 
All right, the big difference in the Flame King versus the Big Buddy that I'm really excited to try out this year is this is a thermostatic heater. What that means is the dial on the heater doesn't just have low, medium, and high like the Big Buddy does. 4,000 BTUs on low, 9,000 BTUs on medium, and then 18,000 BTUs on high. That's what the Big Buddy heater can do. Now the Flame King has the ability to go from 5,000 BTU all the way up to 20,000 BTU. So it can actually get hotter than the 18,000 BTU max on the Big Buddy heater. But where it's really great is this dial for the Flame King is actually controlling a thermostat. So the way that this works is you push it in, you do your pilot light, similar to the way that you do the Buddy heaters, and then you've got minimum and you've got maximum. You can turn this dial anywhere in between minimum and maximum and essentially it will put out more heat as you get higher up and you'll see it getting hotter. But what's going to happen is if you go into the middle here, that's actually adjusting it to a certain temperature, like a thermostat, right? There is on the bottom of the unit, I don't know how easily you can see this, there's a rod. This rod is actually reading what the air temperature is. So the heater knows when it gets to the set temperature and then it will actually turn off the heating ceramic pad, but it will leave the pilot light on. So on the front of this, you've got your pilot light that is down in the bottom and the ceramic pads are gonna light up. It's putting out heat at that point. Once the heater gets to the set temperature that you've adjusted the dial to, the ceramic pad will turn off, the heat will stop coming out, the pilot light will stay on though. And what happens with the thermostat that's built into this heater is when it detects that the temperature's lowered by roughly two degrees, it'll kick back in and heat the air back up to the set temperature. So that's one of the things that I really am looking forward to with this Flame King heater versus the Big Buddy where you only have the control of low, medium, or high and how many BTUs are coming out. You can actually find your comfort level on the dial, set it there, and it'll go on and off depending on what you need for the environment that you're in. And I'm thinking if it's a little bit warmer day, you can actually save some propane and you're not gonna get uncomfortable and have to turn the heater on or off because you can't find that right intermediate setting. Hopefully the Flame King solves for that. From a weight perspective, I weighed both of these heaters empty, um, meaning there's no propane tanks in them, so just the units themselves. The Flame King is just over 18 pounds and the Big Buddy heater is 14 and a half. So you've got on the Flame King a spot for two one pound propane tanks. If you wanna screw them in, you can put one here and one here. And then you've also got a quick connect option on the heater itself. So similar to the Buddy heater where you have different hoses that you can either screw into the one pound slots or use the quick connect connector on the Big Buddy, this heater can as well. Now here's a little fun fact. If you're like me and already have the Big Buddy heater and you already have the hoses for it, uh, like that quick connect hose, that exact same quick connect hose works for this. So you don't need to buy any new hoses for the Flame King heaters. They use the same one pound hose that screws in, obviously because it's a one pound cylinder, that makes sense. But the quick connect fitting is the exact same as well. But there'll be a link in the description to the ones that will work with this and will work with the Big Buddy heater. You can run it all the way up to that top 20,000 BTUs on the high setting uh, with a single one pound cylinder screwed into either one of these. You don't need to have two to operate it or you can just use the external hose hooked up to, they say in the manual, no larger than a 20 pound tank. In terms of time and how long the heat will last on this versus the Big Buddy, I haven't done a time test yet. Stay tuned to the channel, look out for that video, maybe subscribe to the channel so you can get notified once I do that. In terms of pricing of these units, the Big Buddy heater as of filming this video is MSRP at $149.99. The Flame King is $10 more at $159.99. Again, I'll leave a link down below to where you can get either of these heaters if you're interested. All right, and now we've got the smaller unit. So this is the 10,000 BTU Flame King unit and this is the portable buddy. The handle on the portable buddy does fold down, so you can see dimensionally from the front, 
The Flame King unit does have a slightly bigger footprint. As we turn to the side profile of the units, you're gonna see very similar as well. On this side of the Flame King unit, we actually have our thermostat and our dial on it. And then on the Big Buddy heater, this is where the propane tank goes in. On the back of the units, what you're gonna see here is they both do have where you can hang it on the wall through these little keyholes. And then as we look at the other side of the unit, the last side, we've got the dial on the top for the Buddy heater. And then on this side of the Flame King, we've got the spot where the propane tank can go inside of. Few key notes on the features of these units. They both have the uh, safety tilt switch and they both have the low oxygen depletion sensor. In terms of heat output on these devices, the Buddy heater, the portable Buddy, has a low setting of 4,000 BTU and a high setting of 9,000 BTU output. One note, some foreign countries have devices that don't have a low setting. It's only high at 9,000 BTU and or off. The Flame King has a low end setting of 5,000, a high end setting of 10,000, and it is thermostatic as well as the bigger one. Both of these units can be hooked up to a one pound propane cylinder. There's no spot for a second one on either of these units. Um, the one thing that I will note, and I'll try to show you this here, is this was the same way on the bigger one as well. Inside of here where you screw the propane cylinder into, it's a fixed female connection. So what that means, unlike the Big Buddy or the Portable Buddy heater, where you actually have a rotating end, it can be easier if you can turn this nozzle here to be able to screw in your propane cylinder and then push it down so it's level. In these, you have to get it perfectly up and down and spin it in as it does not articulate inside of it. You do have the option on both of these units to hook up a hose, screwing it into here and hooking it up to a 20 pound cylinder. Again, the buddy heater hoses do work for the Flame King as well. So go ahead and use the one that you already have or purchase one of those because I know they're available now. Whereas Flame King, as of filming this video, did not have those hoses available. So in terms of weight of these units, the Flame King is eight and a half pounds. The Portable Buddy is seven and a half pounds. In terms of pricing, the Flame King is $99.99 MSRP and the Portable Buddy is $79.99 MSRP. I'm actually really excited about using these out on the ice this year to try them out. Um, I'm excited about the thermostatic setting. That's probably the number one thing that I'm excited about, being able to set a temperature that I want the comfort level to stay at in plus or minus two degrees. I should be able to stay within that setting and the heater will take care of the rest. I'm very happy that the uh, Mr. Heater hoses work with these. I just tested them out in the garage, so I know that they work both the one pound connection and the quick connect. I think the biggest open question that I have on these heaters is the reliability of them. Am I gonna run into issues with it? Um, one of the small things that I've already noticed and I'm not very happy about, but it is what it is and I figured I'd let you know, is on the bottom of the smaller 10,000 BTU unit, um, it has these small little rubber feet on it. Um, as you can see, there's only two left on it. The other two have already broken off. So two of the little rubber feet already broke off of this unit just from the half hour that I was playing around with it in my garage to get a propane tank hooked up to it, to get hoses hooked up to it and test it out, see how the thermostat worked and everything else. So it'll be interesting to see how much the rest of the unit holds up or falls apart, but that's the only kind of one caution flag that I've had so far. But either way, I hope this video was helpful to you, provided you a little bit of insight. I will be doing a follow-up video after I've used these heaters more and do another comparison. I'll be doing a time test on these heaters as well, and they can go further in depth. If you guys leave any comments or questions down below, I can either answer them now or put another video out going deeper into detail based off what you guys are looking for. Thank you so much for watching the video. Check out some of the other links to the other videos that I think will be helpful to you on the channel. And as always, until next time, Take it easy.